We've got a scientific literacy issue in this country. How long will it take for the, for, for the uh, sea level to rise two feet? I mean, think about it. If your ice cube melts in your glass, it doesn't overflow. It's displacement. I mean, are you f***ing kidding me? And it's leading to all sorts of problems. But a winter of extreme weather in the U.S. and Europe, drought in the West, they're all signs the environmental and economic risks are already being felt. The people who are most affected by these issues are often marginalized, but they're also the ones who can be the most effective at leading the way towards solutions. A protest in North Dakota against a major oil pipeline continues to grow. Over 100 Native American tribes have joined the fight against the project. Enter COPUS. We're a collective of scientists, educators, and communicators who dedicated our lives to building scientific citizenry. From empowering teachers in the Galapagos to tell stories better, to making music videos about eating healthy. And every year, we come together and see what emerges when you put a bunch of creative, ambitious, and passionate people in the same room, tell them to get to work. This year, we're going to the Yucatan Peninsula, where we'll join a cast of local science stars to create a day of service. It's gonna be part science fair, part festival, and my villagers from all over the region are gonna to come together for a day of scientific empowerment and walk away with the tools to tackle the environmental and health issues facing their communities. In order to pull it off, we're now fundraising so that we can cover lodging and airlines for folks from the U.S. who wouldn't otherwise be able to join us. Every bit you donate helps. From local communities adapting to climate change to global coalitions trying to tackle the biggest environmental and health problems of our time, scientific empowerment is critical to us all. So get involved, help us meet our fundraising goal, and let's come together to build a stronger scientific citizenry.